Okay, guys. So we're going to stay pretty quiet. Um, if you feel like talking tonight, you can unmute yourself, but I'm just going to ask you um, to stay in turn. So if I open it up to the floor, just give me a little clue that you want to talk, okay? So we're going to keep it pretty quiet for now. Um, so since we didn't do our check-in earlier, I'm just going to give you your thumbs up sideways or down before meditation and then after meditation. So how are you feeling before meditation? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And how are you feeling after meditation? <laughs> a little, a little bit more. Okay. So, you know, that's the easiest way of just kind of determining what the changes are. And then can you just take note of the physical findings that you're feeling maybe different after meditation? You can share, you don't have to share, but if you want to, go ahead, Mayor. I'm going to be honest. I think you, this is wonderful if it weren't for the helicopter that's right outside my window that's been hovering for about... <laughs> that's a little hour. stressful. Okay. <laughs> fair, fair enough. That's okay. Anybody else want to so share? If it's this way, it's not because of this. It's this okay. It's a really good experience. It's okay. It's just, uh, yeah, my surroundings are uh, like a war zone. <laughs> well, well you're, you're doing good for being in a war zone. <laughs> Think of it that way. Thanks. Um, okay, so Teresa's saying before sideways, after up. Great. Awesome. Anybody else want to share on Zoom? Okay, that's fine. Um, so tonight I couldn't really sit, so I'm just sharing with you because it's important to understand that even people that meditate or seem spiritual, they don't have to be able to um, be comfortable all the time. So the biggest part of meditating is really to be able to focus and to figure out how you um, can deal with basically everything that's thrown at you. And come through it with, I always say, with some grace, you know, so like understanding that you can find comfort even when you're completely uncomfortable or you can stay in the discomfort and find that path and stay with it and allow yourself to feel so tonight if for me it's more about allowing that feeling to come through so i probably will ball after i get sign off with you guys and i'm gonna allow it to happen um <laughs> okay um so that's what's uh going on and people are messaging me stuff that's not perfect for tonight and it's okay <laughs> um so i'm going to give you a couple of hints for for this week's homework so we talk about grounding a lot um but also you know like a simple thing for anxiety because that's gonna you know creep into so heart three my acupuncturist friend over here <laughs> You go on the side, on the inside of your elbow. Everybody see this? And you find that bone right there, and you dig your thumb really deep into it. Now, Renee does it differently with needling, but I do it acupressure, so then you extend your elbow, and you should feel a really pretty sore spot on that center. You're a little high up, Ellen, I think. Yeah. When you, mm, a little bit more inside, Mary, like in it. Yeah. It's halfway between the crease, so you see that little crease over there? Corner, corner, elbow crease, open. So that's on both sides, and that helps a lot with anxiety, insomnia, um, heart palpitations, so anything relating to the heart like that, that will help calm that down. And rose quartz is always one of the most, you know, simple universal um, stones for general heart stuff. But there's other ones too, of course. So I think your homework for this week is to you know, if you're feeling like you have that urge to post everything, to focus on intention, quest questioning your own intention for it. Um, make sure you do some fact checking first, just because that's nice. <laughs> um, the second would be to, you know, we, we spoke about the chakras and like figuring out which ones you're uncomfortable with, but I think there's other pressing homework to continue with that. With that. So I think, Phil says he can't see, you can't see what? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, I think that it's more important this week, if you're feeling like 
you're out of control or you don't know what to do with your energy to focus on writing some stuff down and how do I say it find ways of becoming involved that you're comfortable with does that make sense guys like I don't mean that you have to agree with people and I don't mean that you have to disagree with people I just mean like we make lists for everything in our lives everything and if you're feeling passionate and you don't know what to do <laughs> with that energy, being proactive in any way, shape, or form is going to help you. So that's like your big number two. And um, your number three, again, is going to be the same with kindness, except this time a little bit more exploratory. So if you didn't find your big, big way of being kind last week, you're going to do that this week and you're going to change your wording too. So I want you to try to do it with a family member because that's the harder thing. <laughs> That's your real challenge, is to actually try to be kind to a family member, particularly when you're not feeling so kind. So let's let's think of what that means. Okay. Um, yeah, Mary. Well, I don't know if anyone wants to try this at some point in time. Um, I tried it this week, and it was helpful, especially if you don't can't if you have a hard time writing about what you're feeling, um, and you just want to focus on the emotions. Um, and look at the patterns related to that and what you yeah. either want to reframe um, as far as your story, your life story, or or even what you want to take in with you to the future um, or into the present. Um, I did this thing. It's like a mandala. I mean, it's, it's kind of poorly drawn, but it's just four, uh, five intersecting circles. This one's for past, and you just choose colors that are oh, yeah. related to different oh, memories that you have from your okay. past, present, or future. And if you want to write about it, you can on the side. But then you take that and you do like a present one. You could do symbols oh, wow. that represent like maybe if you feel void with certain things or if you feel your spirituality started to grow or whatever. Um, or you had bits of happiness, but it wasn't consistent or mm -hmm. something. But then you figure, okay, I, I'm going to compare what my past was to my present and see what yeah. I want to take into the future and start to actually visualize what you want to see mm -hmm. and it's just a great activity because it's um one if you just really are just i mean i journal right but i've got lately i just don't want to write down anything no it's fine and you're an artist I'm so. so angry about so many things i think of it down so i just um so i'm just using color and symbols and patterns and that's like tapping into what i need yeah. So Mary, can you, you're freezing yeah. a tiny bit, but can you actually, um, when you get a chance, can you take pictures of that stuff and like maybe an explanation and we can share that as like an art project for people? It's, it's, um, yeah. And it's just something. Yeah. It's just, there's a lot of great, I'm just exploring more yeah. places to use art as a substitute for the narratives that we create for ourselves. Yeah. Um, especially Facebook's likes to create narratives and we tend to create our own narratives based on true. whatever memories Facebook likes to keep for you. Um, but um, sometimes you just have to look at the emotions around it and try to look at different perspectives around the emotions you felt yeah. at that time because you might have grown past it. Um, and then just decide what do you want more of in the future, you know? And um, I don't know, I think it's important to set intentions. It's hard to set intentions when we don't know what the future is going to look like. But at the very least, we can look at the emotions that we would like to bring into our future and how we want to frame that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, I agree. we can't control everything. No, we definitely cannot. So. so my Facebookers... Um... Anybody have anything that they did for themselves this week, like with the chakra stuff? I know, they like come on Facebook and they're a little slower to tell me what they did, but that's okay. Um, hi, Christy. <laughs> so if you don't feel comfortable sharing, you can always message me privately as well. And like, if you wanna talk about what you discovered with your chakras this week, that's cool. Um, if you wanna share about how um, you did the kind activity, and what was the other one? Oh, just to look up the chakras. So maybe you ex explored something a little differently this week and you're seeing things more clearly. So just Which to kind of color. share that. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. I look at the colors that are predominant in tarot cards. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's yep. a chakra. That's big. Nice, Christy. There. <laughs> oh, they're all over the place. They're fun. 
So everybody seems a little bit more quiet. So we're just gonna kind of honor that tonight too. That's fine. So here's my thing. You're gonna drink a ton of water, a ton of water before bed because what's happening tonight is you might not even realize it, um, is that you're gonna discharge a lot. Um, what I did during the meditation, since I couldn't really sit, is I gathered all of your energies and I started sending it out to each one of you and sending it back. So you're all getting like a cross firing of stuff, um, which is really gonna be good. Um, but you're gonna probably feel a lot. So Epsom salt baths, lots of water, um, green leafy vegetables, and sunshine. And just, always, I mean, always laughter, but like make sure you make that list and figure out how to be proactive about stuff that's really bothering you. Um, and be very, very mindful about like what you're posting, what you're watching, who you're talking to, how you're talking to them, and that and the kindness with the family members is gonna be a challenge when you're not feeling your best. So just, <laughs> Just figure it out because those are the people we really, yeah, everyone's laughing like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we really have to, uh, you know, focus on because there's the ones that are going to stay by us no matter what, right? We hope, but <laughs> if we're not very nice, it's not going to work out. Um, so kind, I like to say there's I and there's in, so I'm in, so be in. Um, so that's what we have for tonight. I'm going to write down the homework. I'll always post it on, um, my professional page please share it um share 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 that's how we get bigger and i'm feeling like we're going to change the meditation pretty soon i just have to put the work into it because it does take a lot of work to actually record everything so um thank you so much for this this is my first time doing it yes and you'll be back so, and be tortured um, with all this log out but <laughs> thank you so much and you're I welcome will take a look at the homework that you have <laughs> okay <laughs> hope you sleep better through the craziness right, thanks bye mary take care Hi, Lauren. <laughs> um, all right, guys. And now people are signing on. Hi, Jake. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, so look out for the homework, please. Um, listen to the meditation again. I apologize if you heard me. Somebody said they heard me moving in the background. I don't know. I, I was restless, so I apologize <laughs> if that's what was happening. Ellen's asking, how do you find my professional page? It's just Vanessa M. Meyer, LLC on Facebook. Um, Pretty sure you like it, but maybe you don't. Maybe that's why you couldn't find me on Facebook Live. That I was confused. That would make sense. That would make sense. So if you can't find me, um, it's just Vanessa M Meyer LLC on the Facebook. Um, okay. Right now, my website is down. I don't care, whatever. But <laughs> but oh, that okay. but that page is very very important. That's the thing I'm most active on. Okay. Um, I stream live a lot now, and uh, I'm going to be sharing even more, even more, even more. So make sure you check out with that. Please share it to other people because people think they don't need a meditation. Well, you probably don't realize what it can do for you. So you just have to practice at it. You're not going to be perfect. Um, you're not supposed to be perfect. That's the point of it is to help train your body, your mind, and your soul to bear witness. Um, what was the name of the breath work we were talking about at the beginning? I believe it was Ujjayi breath, which we spoke about uh maybe last week i don't remember um i have the spelling in the homework though sheena so you can look it up easily but that's just the ocean sounding breath so the other one we spoke about was alternate nostril that's not ishadna and then i'm going to give you i think Jeannie had mentioned b b breath which is um i'm i'm sorry sometimes like when i get nervous i mix, mix up my sanskrit but it's um brahmari b r a h a i think i have to look it up um but b humming breath and that's pretty pretty simple you can look that up too i'll put that in the homework and that helps a lot because it focuses the attention to the front of the face and you'll start to see um a lot more clearly we actually use this for psychic work as well um but it will also give that kind of release feeling of like we need to make a sound so that will bring the vibration out and, and she might that might actually help you calm your nerves so that you can when you feel that vibration happening that the sound takes care of it okay guys so good night i know some of you have questions for me feel free to message me or call me <laughs> and i'll talk to you all soon okay bye